We are focusing on the situation in Punjab, which has become politically unstable to say the least. The infighting between the two top leaders, Navjot Singh Sidhu, the Punjab Congress chief, and Chief Minister Captain Amrinder Singh continues. Amid the infighting, four ministers and three Congress MLAs met with the Punjab Congress in charge, Harish Rawat, in Dehradun today. Rawat said that it is not a rebellion and everyone within a family has a right to speak up, also reiterating that Congress will fight the state elections under the leadership of Amrinder Singh. Now, this comes in at a time when the Punjab CM's wife also spoke up asking for intervention by the Congress High Command. She implored the Congress High Command to take note of the situation, saying that her husband and the current chief minister has done everything that the leadership wanted him to do. Let's listen in to the inputs coming in. अभी हमने सीएम के फेस के विषय में कुछ कहा है और सत्यता यह है हम अमरेंद्र सिंह जी के नेतृत्व में ही 2022 में चुनाव होगा उनसे पहले पूछ लो कि 4.5 साल खुश थे जो काटे उन्होंने यह टाइम नहीं है यह बातें करने का यह पॉजिटिव इनपुट दें पॉजिटिव रोल प्ले करें कि पार्टी वापस आए ये पार्टी को डैमेज हो रहा है और जितनी मैच्योरिटी और बड़ा दिल सीएम ने दिखाया है इनको उससे कुछ सीखना चाहिए और पूरी सब कुछ एंजॉय किया है अब छह साल पार्टी के लिए एकता दिखा के काम कर All right, so uh, once again, fresh tremors were felt from Punjab Congress because of ministers. Now, at least four ministers coming out and claiming that there are a bulk of MLAs wanting the removal of Captain Amrinder Singh. So with that, of course, the entire party went into a tizzy once again. Now, there have been persistent conflicts, as we all know, between Amrinder Singh and Navjot Singh Sidhu. And all efforts to quell this dissent with the appointment of Sidhu as the party chief has also not worked so far. That kind of a compromise formula doesn't seem to be yielding results in diffusing the tension far from it. There's only an escalation. There's a constant trading of charges, firing of salvos and exchanging bars on a daily basis. In fact, now once again, the Congress in charge, Harish Rawat, has intervened. He's managed to douse the flames. Of late, we are being told that a final decision is taken that the state elections will be fought under the leadership of Captain Amrinder Singh. Now, this kind of a dual power center, dual uh, power centers that has been created, was this really the best way forward for the Punjab Congress? Let's find out uh, more about how this ground situation is evolving there in Punjab. What would be its fallout if things do not fall in place before the state elections? Because remember, there is a lot at stake for the Congress party. It is one of the strongest bastions for the Congress party. Can it allow it? to fall in this manner because of this impending implosion which many are saying is taking absolutely is now showing no sign of dying out so let me introduce him and three senior journalists joining us also sujatha paul political analyst joining us on the big story very warm welcome to the two of you i want to come to you first mr atri that if you look at the developments today four ministers meeting harish rawat so time and again you have conflicts and then conflict resolution and a firefighting exercise and each time we are told that things are being sorted now is this only a Sidhu versus Amrinder tussle a power tussle a battle for supremacy or is there something more to it that is uh, the reason for this constant internal feud See, Afrida, you have rightly pointed out in your initial discussion that this is basically due to two power centers right two parallel power centers as far as chief ministership is mm. concerned, as far as leadership mm. in the next election is concerned, it is more than clear, and it is made clear none other by none mm. other than Mrs. Gandhi herself, Sonia Gandhi ji, that Congress party will go into the elections under the leadership of Captain Amrinder Singh. It all started once Navzo Singh Sidhu started aspiring for the PCC presidency. That is one. We have to go into the genesis of it. And the second part is, when Sidhu became PCC president, there was a formula being worked out. Some cabinet reshuffle is also to be done. Now these four ministers who have enjoyed the fruits of power all through four and a half years, 
now are scared of that they are likely to be dropped due to many reasons corruption and so many other things mm. so they are creating a scene in connivance with mr navjot singh sidhu to destabilize their own government of course this is beyond their limitations they can't do it for the very simple reason get let them do whatever they want no but what but is in it for them what will they gain what kind of bargaining power are you talking about when you talk about these ministers because surely when you go in uh, to meet your top leadership saying we want the removal of captain captain amrinder singh uh, you know what is the what if that is not uh, you know agreed upon then what if it is not agreed sujatha paul tell us uh, you know why is this happening time and again and why has the compromise formula failed according to you in your party uh, you know uh, today there are seven people from uh, punjab who are in dehradun and they are going to be having a meeting with the tamarisha out of them like the people there are four ministers and uh, uh, the way it is being made out it's not at all like that because there has been an issue because of mr malinder singh mali and dr pyarelal kar making unnecessary statements and those statements have been condemned and uh, the government party is being questioned on it and that is the reason why uh, it seems like there is some problem but yes when it comes to the Uh, to India and uh, Jammu, Jammu and Kashmir. Jammu and Kashmir remains an inalienable part of India that uh, nobody should have a doubt about. But since they made these statements, there have been questions. The condemnation has come from Captain Amrinder Singh, and now we have heard uh, Mrs. Amrinder uh, uh, Singh also speak about it. So these were loose comments, but. the party is together and there is a formula which is being worked out mr arish shaba today morning also has said that the uh, elections will be fought under the leadership of captain amrinder singh and nobody can deny that captain amrinder singh has uh, got the uh, punjab to the congress and he is a very tall leader and i think that should put to rest everything else there might be the recap no but would you agree sujatha paul that your that congress party has literally made the opposition redundant Navjot Singh Sidhu has completely taken over that role and hijacked the agenda of the opposition today if there is anybody acrimonious towards the, your chief minister of the state it is Navjot Singh Sidhu and his close aides and each time these statements are made the leaders in question always say that they have been quoted out of context so we have to leave it at that unfortunately we run out of time on this limited duration conversation thank you so much sujatha paul and himanta tri for joining us the fact of the matter is this problem of open rebellion is becoming endemic to the congress party it's happening in chatisgarh as well where two leaders are sparring over the chief minister's post there as well and uh, has the central leadership failed to enforce discipline in the party units in the states that's one big question we will continue to to ask thanks for joining us and thanks for watching Let's